Hello friends, this is the unboxing of a 16-hole chromatic e-stop brass comb harmonica, chromatic harmonica. Uh, for a long time I've been uh, thinking about this, especially uh, when I saw the reviews made by uh, Brendan Power. Uh, I think uh, he he's probably the walking encyclopedia of uh, harmonicas and uh, many years ago I purchased, I moved from the Honor uh, Larry Adler to the Suzuki SCX-64 uh, only because after, uh, I mean, after seeing his reviews I was totally impressed. Uh, I was uh, not very uh, comfortable with the mouthpiece of the Honor and when he said uh, the mouthpiece is different here I took a chance, tried it and uh, it really worked out uh, pretty well. Now the same thing and uh, it's several years now and I see a lot of uh, good information uh, being given by uh, Brendan Power and uh, he appears to be an authority on uh, harmonicas, uh, whether it is a blues, a diatonic or a chromatic, uh, he, he gives a lot of information, uh, free advice. Anyway, uh, uh, been uh, looking at this for a long time, although uh, since I'm not really a very good uh, harmonica player, still a beginner, I thought is it really worth. Uh, but then uh, when I just casually looked at the prices of other uh, well-known brands like say Suzuki, uh, who, uh, they also manufacture a brass comb. I think that's well over three and a half thousand uh, US dollars. Whereas the East Top brass comb the 16 uh, hole uh, chromatic is uh, in the vicinity of 600 uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, that's really a, a very tempting uh, figure compared to the other one. Um, and as we all know, uh, wooden combs are really not suitable uh, for temperature variations and especially so here in uh, Canada where it can uh, be very difficult actually to maintain. I do have a sort of a small blanket for the harmonicas and before I start playing I warm it up for a while. Anyway I digress. Uh, so coming back to this now on his website he says uh, if we order it uh, through him of course it gets shipped uh, from uh, China uh, to keep the cost low he says he doesn't stock any but then he guarantees that we get the same model. Although uh, it's available on several other websites direct, I went through uh, Brendan Power's website and very promptly it got shipped. I ordered, today is the uh, 4th of uh, July, uh, 2019, Thursday. And uh, I ordered on the 29th of June and going by his FAQs, I waited for uh, two days, in fact more than two days, I did not receive any uh, tracking number when I sent him a mail. He very promptly responded with the track tracking number uh, apologizing that, uh, you know, somehow it was missed and uh, he sent the tracking number and uh, to my utter surprise it was shipped on the same day. And that was 29th of June and today it's the 4th and it arrived. It went. It has taken a long uh, journey actually. It went to Japan. From Japan it came to Alaska and uh, from then on today morning it got delivered to uh, uh, Toronto. And I think by 11.30 this morning I received it. So here is the package. Actually I made uh, an earlier video but by mistake every time I switched off the camera I was thinking that I'm on on the camera and then I went on and on, even opened up the uh, comb just to show you all. Uh, then I re realized that it was the other way around. And when I was doing the other things, everything got recorded, but not the ones which I really wanted. So that way, I already opened the case. I just put it back uh, just to give you an idea as to how it was packed in the uh, first place. Uh, so this is the package, very well packed and this is the cut I made. So, and 
So it is very neatly uh, uh, packed in a bubble wrap. And the bubble wrap, it's a tight fit actually, very nice. So here is the bubble wrap. It's uh, pretty heavy actually. I believe the shipping weight was uh, 900 grams. I'm not, I never weighed the other. I think the others are probably in the vicinity of 500 grams. I think the SCX 64. So it comes with uh, in another uh, plastic jacket. It's a nice uh, soft case actually. T1664. I think that's a very, uh, it's a universal number for all uh, 16 hole chromatic. It's a blue color uh, zipper case. Very smooth zip. And this is how it was packed in the first place. So it's a generic uh, shining cloth, no name. And here we have, this is the East Top T16 64 16 hole chromatic with the brass comb and let me give you a close up and this is a cross tuned you can see that it's brass and the reed plates are quite good i mean the thickness i believe they are probably 1.2 millimeters or maybe more and the mouthpiece is, of course, like the Suzuki. In fact, it looks very much like the Suzuki harmonica, except that the comb is uh, brass. I would have actually preferred a steel, uh, stainless steel plate, but I think this is brass. I'm not sure brass or copper. They're not really very clear. Powder coated, I God knows how long the powder coat will last. In fact, uh, I even wrote to Brendan whether uh, we can opt for a steel uh, Cover. I have seen some of the videos where there are very few videos of uh, this particular model and uh, more so in fact we don't have any unboxing at all. I believe uh, this is the first unboxing uh, video of a brass comb e-stop harmonica and uh, by the time I think I wrote the, it was already shipped. So probably in the near future because he says that the reed plates can be replaced by a Suzuki SCX64 reed plate. You know, he said everything is the same. Probably at the top, I think there are three additional holes in this. I remember uh, Brendan mentioning that. Maybe we may have to drill in the uh, Suzuki reed plate if ever uh, we, uh, uh, we change. Otherwise, he said it's a good fit. So if that is the case, I'm sure even the covers are probably a good fit. But then in case the need arises where you need to change, you want to change the uh, cover plate. Anyway, it's not my uh, preference, but then that is what was available. The powder coated uh, end plates, the cover plates. And when I tried the first time, the fifth hole draw, that is uh, the uh, D, uh, D draw second octave. I was not able to uh, draw correctly with the covers. When I had removed the covers uh, with the pucker, I was able to uh, sound it pretty good, but otherwise it doesn't seem to uh, respond. I'll have to look into it later as to why. And That's the first octave. So as I mentioned, uh, I'm not able to get the D uh, with the tongue blocking. The E and F Onwards are okay. Let me play that.
bit hard. I may have to adjust the gaps. But pretty good. And uh, if you notice these uh, supports here, when I opened the cover, I felt they were really not so strong. A little flimsy compared to the Suzuki SCX64. There the metal looks uh, pretty uh, strong and a little thick. This one, compared to the weight of the uh, the overall weight, that looks very flimsy. Matter of fact, I, I'm sure we should never drop, of course, we should never drop any of these. But if this falls, for sure, it will be pretty bad because the covers are really not uh, that strong compared to the, the overall mass of the, the weight of the, uh, the unit, the harmonica itself. Otherwise, yes, the good thing is, yes, it's uh, brass comb. Well, uh, I'll make another video later uh, with the covers uh, removed. As I mentioned, I missed all the, the entire portion of uh, the video where I had the covers open. I'll, uh, at a later date, I'll uh, do that for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time.